these are some pieces of oak that I cut to trim out the area around the stereo on the dash and I've stained them with uh, oak, golden oak stain trying to match to what's there. These are drying and today I'm going to put some clear polyurethane stuff on them to match, match what's going on in the rest of the coach. These bevel cuts, um, <clears throat> you know, when you're doing kind of a picture frame type cut at an odd angle, um, it took me an entire evening to cut those three pieces of wood accurately. Um, I'm going to explain what I finally figured out to make that work the best, for me anyways, and with my miter saw. So I bought a digital protractor type tool at Home Depot for about 25 bucks. And this thing was pretty useful. So let's say you got a couple pieces of, or well, not a couple pieces. You got some wood at an angle that you need to trim out. You're gonna measure the outside edge of that with this tool. Just pretend this is the edge of my cabinet at some strange angle. You're gonna take that angle measurement, lock this guy in. You're gonna take that number and you go 180 minus 114 and then divide that by two. Then you come over here to your miter saw and that's the angle that you put in on your uh, your angle here. Now, of course, you still got to be smart about which direction you're turning it and which direction you're setting the, the wood on here. And you got to be smart about how you uh, have measured your distances between your, your angles that you're cutting. Um, for me, it was easiest just to mark them as accurately as possible. And then um, I would take that line and extend it all around the workpiece, come over here, set it on the saw, and you know, pay attention to whether you're looking at the front of it or the back of it. You know, the back of the cut may be shorter, the front of the cut may be longer. You know, you gotta pay attention to that. Where you marked it, did you mark it on the back? or the front and you know <clears throat> cut cut wisely <laughs> but yeah it took me an entire evening to cut those three pieces and I did make one mistake which is not bad so those trim pieces go here I trim out this cabinet here and I've been working on this wiring this is a cabinet that is going to contain a switch, generator panel, and so on. And that's going to get trimmed out and it's mounted on a hinge. This piece down here, this fabric covered piece, um, that's got Velcro on the back of it and that's mounted to my the heater core metal behind there on our 4106. So that's removable. This hinges down so that I can maintain these fuses in here and wiring and stuff. And I've got this kind of, I've started uh, tidying this up and mounting things. And I got to finish this up today. I'm going to mount, uh, mount this switch and I've got a couple USBs that I'm going to mount in here and get this all tidied up today. Okay, I put some clear on those uh, pieces of trim that are going to go around the cabinet in there. Got them sitting here drying. Put them on some stir sticks so that they don't end up sticking to the paper. Because yeah, then I'd be peeling chunks of paper off there. I don't want that. 
So I'm waiting for an uh, updated switch to arrive for this uh, panel that I've been working on here. I've got this wiring tidied up here and I've been cleaning up the aftermath of this project. Put my electrical panel back on, put this side panel back on here, I had a bunch of wires in it. And then I discovered my entire dashboard can flip forward and I was able to get up here in front where I can never reach and clean back here. I get a little more cleaning to do. Of course, I'm bleeding because I snagged myself on something sharp, a uh, sharp screw back here. But yeah, I'm going to get that gross stuff over there. But yeah, it's not too bad under here, actually. That rat's nest of wires is pretty well contained to those two holes and... There's going to be a lot less of those when I'm done with this project. But yeah, I'm going to clean behind there. Imagine that. Getting most of my tools put away. Cleaning up the wood shavings and yuck around here. As a, you know, <laughs> aftermath, right? I still got to put that panel on that goes over that corner post there. Still got a few things strewn over here on the dining room table that gotta get cleaned up. It's getting there. All right, today is tomorrow, and the end of this project is in sight. Uh, it's really nice weather today. It's sunny. There's a light breeze, but it's not too hot. So it's perfect weather for working on the bus. Got some tunes. I'm doing easy work, nothing too difficult today, just buttoning things up. So, uh, boy, I hope, I hope I get this thing done today. Waiting on a package from Amazon, but uh, plenty to do until that shows up here. Okay, I finally got this thing done. This is what it looks like coming into the bus now. It used to be this big cabinet here where that bare floor is stuck out that far so that's gone now I've got this cabinet here now and the stereo is facing the passenger right now come in <clears throat> go ahead and uh, turn it towards the driver and I'll put on my gauges And that's what they currently look like. And I've got my cabinet down here and I've got a I've got a USB and I've got the switch to control. Well <laughs> it's barely on there. Whether the radio is on house or on ignition. So you know, if you're dry camping and you don't want it on, you can just flip it down to ignition. And I got my generator thing there. You know, I kind of damaged this cabinet a bit working on it. I chipped it up and stuff and, you know, my stain job doesn't quite match on my molding here. Um, but yeah, that locks into center position there for you know that way and then it goes over to a passenger and locks in over there and this is the primary position for the driver got my dash all put back together everything's mostly cleaned up here got a few little odds and ends i got to deal with but yeah it's nice to be done with that right now it's kind of a long long project kind of complicated and there's my backup cam and my tow monitor tire pressure monitor as well so yeah uh, thanks for following along stay tuned for next project